Hundreds are still missing in Lahaina, um, Hawaii, after devastating wildfires. But, uh, but as access to the area improves, there have been more happy reunions. This improved and access was allowed. Some Sorry, I, I couldn't pronounce. We're all just extremely worried about her. When we met Melinda Young last week, she was at the Family Assistance Center to report her friend and co-worker Mona Cole missing. Cole lives at Ho'onanea in Lahaina, a condo that was partially burned. Her brothers, who live on the East Coast, looked at aerial footage to find Cole's building, which was still standing. So they started calling shelters. Filled out a police report or a missing persons report on my sister, so we were able to get her officially on the list. My other daughter, uh, Megan, who works at the Maui Hospital, uh, had actually put herself down as the next of kin uh, for my sister's address hoping that when uh, roads were open that she would be able to uh, access the site. After residents were allowed in, his daughter went straight to the condo. And there was a group of people standing outside one of the undestroyed buildings, and she asked if anybody there knew Mona Cole, and uh, uh, a woman turned around and said, uh, yes, I do, and my daughter was so anxious she did not recognize that it was my sister that turned around. He says an emotional reunion followed. Cole had evacuated to the Hyatt Regency Ka'anapali after a firefighter told her to leave the condo. Her brother, a volunteer firefighter in New Jersey, is grateful she heeded the warning. I've been in some forest fires and with some high moving winds, and I can tell you, it's, uh, I was concerned for my sister. I really was concerned for her. Because cell service was down for days and is still spotty, he's only able to briefly talk to his sister as she's now involved in community efforts. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.